Hey everybody, welcome to CR90 Designers, this is Chetan and in this Blender tutorial we are going to create a simple looking design. So without further ado, let's get started. To create this design, you need to add a circle with 8 words. After that, you need to press F to fill the gap, then use the knife tool and connect these words. Then add a bevel on this edge and add one segment bevel add there. Now you need to move these faces along the x-axis in this way. And you will get this kind of shape. After that, you need to apply the scale on the shape and then use the insert operation add there. Then you can rotate it into the 30 degree angle and then shift it to duplicate it and move it along the y axis in this way. And just try to give the same distance to move them. Then you need to change the transform orientation to the normal and then you need to select these two middle shapes and then shift it to duplicate it and move them along the x-axis normal x-axis and in this way you need to create pattern add there then select all these shapes and then join them together then you can select these edges and then press f to fill the gap then you can select these faces with the shortest path selection and use the insert operation and delete these faces you will get this kind of design now you need to select these edges and then press F to fill the gap. Then you can add the center loop cut add there. And then one more time you need to select the edges and you need to press F to fill the gap. And then here also you need to select the edge and you need to press F to fill the gap. Okay so we got the same kind of look. Now you need to add one plane add there. After that you need to add the loop cuts on it in this way. And then delete that center face. Then you need to select both the objects and you need to join them. Then you can add the center loop cuts like this. Then you need to add the loop cuts in this way and you need to try to fill the gaps in between these two objects. So that's why you can use the knife tool to create the proper cuts wherever you want on that outer border. So you can connect these two objects together by filling the gap. You can select this complete edge loop and you can press F to fill the gap. And then you can use your knife tool to create the proper cuts at there. You can watch the process carefully to understand where you need to create the cuts. You need to create the parallel cuts at there. And you need to give them the right direction. You can see the way I have created these cuts. Now you can see I am facing a little bit of difficulty at there. So that's why I need to increase the section at there. So I can select these edges and I can move them along the y axis. And I can increase that part, that space at there to create this kind of cuts. Then you can easily use the knife tool and you can complete those cuts. Once you have created all the cuts, just check that you are getting right face loops at there. If you are getting the right face loops, means your topology is right. You have created right core base topology. Just create one cut at here and one cut at here. And you can see, I have created the right topology for that particular part where we have these boolean details. Then you can rotate this plane and you can add the subdivision surface modifier. And now I need to add few more loop cuts at there to maintain those boolean details. 
otherwise i will get this kind of booleans if you are okay with this kind of booleans after adding the subd modifier then it's fine otherwise you need to play with your topology a little bit to add those supportive loop cuts add there to maintain the form of those booleans Sometimes when we add the loop cuts, it destroyed that curve shape of that boolean. So in that case, you need to recreate a little bit of topology add there. You can see whenever I add this kind of loop cuts to maintain that form, I'm destroying that circular shape, that curve shape of that boolean. Hence, I add new cuts add there and I try to create that Corbis topology by redirecting these edge loops. So I can get the right Corbis topology. And I can create those supportive cuts to maintain the form of those booleans. Then you can add some more loop cuts add there and then you can weld the words. To reduce this extra geometry add there, that extra topology, you can weld the words. Then you can dissolve this extra topology on the model. Yeah. Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over like. Oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things. Realize something needs change. Cause I know you got me f***ed up. Let me show you what's up. Cause enough is enough. I'll take a face full of payment. Just to make a statement. I know that So in this way you can create this kind of design. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See the next video. Take care. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small